Welcome, builders of the internet. My name is Jessa and I work as a quantity surveyor in the construction industry. Today I thought I would talk about how casinos are designed to trick you into spending more. In particular, I'll cover the stereotypical and modern casino designs, comparing how different parts of these are specifically chosen to help enhance the gambling experience. As always, you can find my timestamps and sources in the description. Classic casino design. The stereotypical casino design has a bit of a confusing maze-like layout, with machines and tables all organised in rows with narrow passages for you to get from place to place. The ceilings are generally pretty low, there are no windows, and there is a purposeful lack of decoration and dark coloured interiors. This layout was researched and optimised over 20 years by former gambling addict Bill Friedman, who wrote a book and gave lectures about this at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. Modern casino design Nowadays, casinos tend to be designed with a new adult playground approach, where machines and tables are clustered together. There are big open spaces with high ceilings, use of windows, skylights and natural elements like moving water features and vegetation. This style was developed by both Roger Thomas and David Cranes. Entrance Before you've gone into the casino, you may be drawn to the neon and bright lights drawing your attention and luring you in. Casino designers will typically try and emphasise the visibility of the space with large, attention-grabbing signage that can be seen from a distance, which will draw people closer to the space. With a classic design, you usually see machines and activity stations immediately upon entering. This is so that you're able to start gambling activities straight away. The modern design boasts luxuriousness, maybe with a lavish and appealing features like water fountains, which ease you into the setting, a bit like a shopping centre. This provides a taste of what to expect without showing all the action inside, which makes people curious and incentivizes them to actually move deeper into the main space. Layout Friedman's classic design intends to make you feel a bit disoriented, with the machines and tables laid out like a maze or labyrinth, God forbid if you need the bathroom, because these layouts help you to get a little bit lost and distracted on your journey to and from there. There will probably be a convoluted route full of enticing games, and the chances are that at least one of them will tickle your fancy, and maybe even distract you from leaving the premises. The confusing layouts with smaller winding passages are easy to hop from one machine to another, and you're also more likely to actively explore what else there is, because it's not immediately obvious and visible. The classic design advocates for lower ceilings, maybe in smaller rooms, to provide a different and more intimate vibe. Maybe you've had an experience where you've accidentally walked into a space like maybe a reading at a library or something like that, and felt too awkward to leave. Well, these intimate spaces in the casino have that similar sort of effect, making people feel more inclined to play. Functionality is at the forefront of the design. No space is wasted with machines dotted everywhere, and the lower ceilings can also make the space feel busier, which may pressure some people into choosing a machine to play at so that others don't get there first. On the other hand, Thomas and Kramer focus more on how people feel. The confusing layouts in the classic design are indeed very functional and sort of in your face, this is a casino, but it can contribute to people feeling overwhelmed or confused, which isn't exactly the best mood for high risk bets, which get the casino lots more money. The modern design provides a lot of big, bright, open spaces, which allows people to take a breather if they need to and not feel so drained by the whole experience. This more pleasant environment makes people feel more happy and relaxed, keeping you in for longer and increasing the chances of returning customers. The machines themselves are also arranged into clusters, usually a circle shape, in the modern layout rather than aligned in rows. This way you can see the machines from different perspectives, which might just be enough to draw you into one. This sort of layout is more welcoming and sociable too. It's easier to interact with other players, which in itself provides a more fun and memorable experience. 
With casino tables placed in clusters in the centre of the room, there are a lot of people drawn to a relatively small space, which creates an exciting, if not a bit rowdy, atmosphere, which may attract even more people in. Decor It's somewhat infamous that casinos have some of the ugliest, tackiest carpet floors, which are usually chosen intentionally. These busy patterns help hide stains when people inevitably spill their drinks in excitement, and the carpets being somewhat unpleasant to look at also helps keep people's eyes on the games instead of being distracted on the floor. The use of chips instead of actual money is also a trick I'm sure we're all familiar with, and it's used a lot in mobile games too. By making the pieces feel very game-like and not like real money at all, it's harder to keep track of the money you're actually spending and therefore a lot easier to gamble it all away. Casino machines are also pretty sneaky disguising your losses as wins to make you feel like you're actually coming out on top and helping you to want to play again. An example of this could be on a slot machine, where you might bet, say, £2 on a turn and you win 50p. Because you've won 50p, the game will probably light up and make lots of noise to make you feel like a winner, despite the fact that you've actually just lost £1.50. The pace of the games might also be pretty fast too, wanting you to play again so that in the moment you don't really have the time to do the maths of the money that you've just lost. You might also have a lot of near misses to help you think that you're really close to winning a lot of money. There will no doubt be ATMs nearby too, to help you withdraw the money to play these games, making it just that bit easier to suck the money out of you. Furniture-wise, with the classic design, you pretty much won't find any furnishings except the machines and tables themselves, so you literally cannot be distracted by anything else. Whilst modern designs typically strive for comfort, with luxurious seating and decor to help you relax, feel comfortable and want to spend more time there, Either way, both of these approaches are tricks used to make you spend more. Senses The last thing I'll talk about today is how casinos stimulate multiple senses. Lights are carefully chosen to highlight the tables and slot machines, as well as the machines blinking bright neon colours themselves. In the classic design, you might notice dimmed lighting, and this combined with a lack of windows really adds to the evening vibe and losing a sense of time. The modern design facilitates skylights bringing in natural light, so the space feels more liberating and enjoyable. In terms of the sounds you hear, you might be drawn to the energy of excited and rowdy crowds, with there being just enough winds going round, with people cheering and machines buzzing to make you want to be a part of that too. There is also usually some kind of music in the background usually something relatively soft but fast-paced and easy to listen to, so you don't have to be left on your own to focus on your losses and what exactly you're doing. The casino may well have a bar and diner so you can nourish yourself and literally have no reason to leave. Sometimes they might even offer free drinks and food to help keep you there for longer. If people find that they're doing really well, Sometimes casinos might offer accommodation for free, and time is money with casinos, so this helps you spend more time there and the more likely it is for you to lose your money. Thanks for watching this video! I hope that by knowing these tricks you'll be less likely to fall for them yourself if you find yourself in a casino. Placing bets and playing risky games is super fun, but it's just so important to never take chances with more money than what you can afford to lose. But that's all I have to say for now. I hope it helps build on your mind. Thanks for watching this channel, it's building on my mind. Check out my other videos, but first hit the bell and comment, like, subscribe.